It's been 17 years since my first trip to Egypt. Since that visit, I've been back many times to experience the power of the wind as I kite surf on the beautiful Red Sea. My visit this year comes with a different purpose. We are in a climate emergency and we need to act now to preserve these beautiful places. The wind that has brought me here to kite surf is now at the heart of transforming this region. COP27 will take place later this year and I return to find out more about how wind can play a major role in tackling climate change. My first stop was Lakayla's brand new Westbacker wind farm near Raskareb. The wind farm really is incredible. We spent the whole morning learning about how it operates and how the Westbacker project is helping Egypt reach its renewable energy goals. I met Lakayla's team at the site, including Khaloud Bakri. She was an inspiring character. Hearing how her career is growing alongside this industry in Egypt was fantastic. Khaloud is also part of GWEC's Women in Wind global program. The impact oil and gas has had on the region is something you just can't escape here. But seeing how the new technology is delivering a bright future for the area is truly inspiring. Witnessing firsthand what the energy transition actually looks like on the ground has been brilliant to see. I wasn't the only one passionate about the wind on my trip as I discovered there were other keen kiteboarders in our group. I loved hearing people's passion for the region, the transition going on around them, and obviously getting out on the water and kite surfing together. I care massively about climate change and think we can all do something about it. I especially love talking to young people on the subject. Kids are so engaged with issues like recycling, sustainability, and not wasting energy in their own lives. We can recycle things. We can put things in the bin. Actually thinking to ourselves, should I just throw this with all the other things and making that decision? I go everywhere with this bottle now. I love to travel around with this. It's one way I've made a change and the small changes we make do make a big difference. It reinforces the work being done to deliver enormous projects like West Backer or bring people together at COP to hear young kids discussing details like how they get to school in the morning and what it means for the environment. We talk about the power of the wind, but I find nothing translates that power more than a kite. You can literally place it into someone's hands. The final stop on my tour was the Zafarana wind farm. It was a special visit to this beach, as long ago when I started my kite surfing career, it was here that I landed after an epic crossing of the Suez Canal, just using the power of the wind and my kite. As this trip draws to a close, I can't help but reflect on how the area has changed over those 17 years. Places like Ras Gareb and people like Khaloud show the potential for this region. I spend a lot of time talking about the energy transition, but seeing the reality of it is enormously exciting. The positive impact these enormous wind farms have on people is magnificent, from jobs and clean industry through to the thriving local communities. I cannot wait to see what this region looks like in the future.